the Lord. Oh, come on. Don't do him like that. Praise the Lord. Amen. He deserves every ounce of praise that you're able to give him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, it's come time in the service where all of us can really grow fat in our spirits. Amen. Amen. It's time for a feeding. Amen. When I look at this scripture, it's a scripture in 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse number 35. Did you know that in, in the word of God, there's a scripture that describes almost everybody in his body? Amen. This scripture describes our man of God here of this house. It reads, and I will raise for myself that's the Lord. It's, I'm, I'm speaking of two different versions. This is in our being. I will raise for myself. That's God talking right there. A warrior, a loyal and faithful priest. I will raise me up. A faithful priest. And his name is Jeremiah Cummins. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That shall do according to that which is in my heart and in my mind. And I will build Jeremiah Cummings a sure house. And he shall walk before mine anointed forever. The anointed, the appointed, the commissioned man of God. Your spiritual father. Amen and our master teacher is going to come and bring the word of God to you on today and we're going to ask you all to stand and receive our very own apostle Jeremiah Cummins. Let's receive him with an amen. Amen. Love you. Love you. Amen. God is good and he is so awesome. And I thank God for this opportunity to be able to share his word. I want to say that um, I had given a decree um, last week about, you know, we have heard enough words. Um, we have had enough church. And now it's time for us to take what we have heard and show that we have faith to believe. Faith will cause you to walk out. I heard one minister say about 27 years ago, he said, faith can become so strong that you can jump out of a plane without a parachute and know that God is going to be that parachute for you. Walking out on faith you can, you can go through hell with a gasoline jacket on and not burn. Ask Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Amen. And so this is a time that elevation and acceleration is to take place in the sixth month of 2017, which is 6,017 years after uh, the creation of Adam. So... Um, we're going to get into the Word. Uh, I don't teach a traditional gospel. I teach by revelation, and that's all I know. So you're blessed. I'm blessed, and my wife are blessed that you're here. But you are also blessed because you are here today. And um, um, for the ones who are not here on vacation or whatever they may be doing, uh, I hope that they have a hunger and thirst, and I hope that you go back and tell them you know, people came from the United Kingdom to be here. People came from Toronto, Canada to be here. People drove nine hours, you know, from, um, from Atlanta, Georgia last night to be here today. And so um, they have a hunger and thirst for righteousness. And I guarantee you, everybody in here is going to be filled. Amen? Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And um, this is a part three message that I'm going to do today. And if you don't have part one, part two, you need to get the CD uh, from Sister Tia and, um, and listen to what I taught last Sunday. 
Um, I said these words and I'm going to say them again. Whenever we decide to move forward in life, nine times out of ten, there will always appear to be a yoke trying to pull us back. <laughs> I mean, um, and that's true. Whenever you seek to go forward in life, nine times out of ten, there will always be a yoke trying to pull you back. You and I were created to become God's sons and daughters, ambassadors, kings and priests. Yes. And then I quote it from the book of Revelation 5 and 10. It says, and he said, and, 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 and he has made us. You know, when God speaks, he called those things that be not so that they can become what he calls them. You don't have to be a king or a priest for God to say, you are going to be a king and a priest unto God. But he says, and he has made us, from Revelation 5 and 10, and he has made us unto our God kings, queens, and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Did y'all see that? It says, we shall reign on the earth. When will we reign? When we believe. Y'all hear what I said? Amen. When you believe that you've been called to be the head and not the tail. Yes. Yes. Come on, when you believe that you have been called to be a king, a queen, a prophetess, an ambassador. You know, you, when you believe, it, the word of God is now faith is. Can I get a man? Amen. See, you don't have to wait on faith. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Faith is now. Now faith is yes. the substance of things hoped for. Yes. Yes. Now faith becomes a seed. Yes. The uh, what was the other word that we use? It has become the the title deed. Faith is a title deed. You got the title deed of things hoped for. Yes, Amen. But, but tradition had taught us to wait, 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 yes. wait, yes. wait till Jesus come. Mm -hmm. Well, if he lives in you, he's here. He's yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Come on. How do, you know, how, how do you know if a person has God or does not have God? Well, if they don't have God, they're a thief. And the thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and destroy. But if you have God, say, I have come that you may have life, eternal life, abundant life. And have it how much? More. More abundantly. I want to go back into time. And I gave Sister Tia, and I think I was talking to Minister Donald and and and, uh, and our lady uh, Latrina this morning about the scripture and we hear part of it but we don't hear all of it from the book of Daniel the 12th chapter look what it says and at that time shall Michael the word Michael listen to me is Mikael one who is like God. Come on, son. Or one who is God-like. Yes. Ain't talking about nobody with no wings. Yes. You ain't got no wings. He's talking about a real human being. One who is like unto God shall stand out. That great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Mikael is spiritual at the same time. Mikael is one of those members or one of those um, uh, what we call angels who are part of the covenant enforcement agency. Amen. Amen.